Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today we will be talking about solo leveling. Solo leveling is the critically acclaimed South Korean webcomic series turned into a light novel uh, written by Chu Gong. Uh, overall, we find this book quite interesting from the characterization of the main character, which is Sang Jin Woo. Uh, in this video, we will elaborate further on why we like the character Sang Jin Woo. First and foremost, we will be summarizing the story of the novel. I will leave that to my friend Datu. The story starts off when gates, strange portals that connect the human world to other dimensions and realms, appear all over the earth. At the same time, humans started to awaken abilities which makes them stronger to combat against these monsters. These special humans are called hunters. Protagonist Sang Jin Wo is known as the world's weakest hunter. He's a young, dedicated and brave man, which can be seen early on in the story when it is shown that he supports his younger sister and ailing mother by being a hunter despite his lack of abilities and skills. One day, Jin Wu joins a party to clear a D rank gate, which is above his ability, but a piece of cake for all other hunters. Jin Wu then becomes a player in his final moments right after he was abandoned at the, at the dungeon. After three days, Jin Wu wakes up in the hospital without any injuries, but a hood with challenges and tasks appears in front of him after he wakes up. Jin Wu realizes that he can actually level up by completing these tasks and gain strength day by day, which has helped him combating against these monsters and even managed to eliminate a D rank boss alone. After he reached this feat, he joins a raid party for dungeon experience. Long story short, he easily managed to kill all of the party members after discovering their true intention, which is to kill him and Jin Ho. After that, Jin Ho offers Jin Wu a lot of cash if he wants to help him in clearing dungeons. And that's when our story ends. Thank you, Datu, for that wonderful uh, and unique uh, explanation. Um, I will be in charge of uh, explaining uh, the first characterization that we think is the most important in Sang Jin Woo, which is this, this determination. Uh, this is backed up by the occurring supporting evidence, uh, which shows the qualities of determination from Sang Jin Woo. As a matter of fact, determination is a key aspect which reflects the overall theme of solo leveling. When we first met uh, Sang Jin Woo, he was a weak hunter who was often looked down upon by others. However, he possesses an unwavering determination to improve himself and become stronger. This determination is what ultimately drives him to undertake the dangerous quest that changes his life forever. This determination is what ultimately drives him to undertake the dangerous quest that changes his life forever. Throughout the story, uh, Sanjay Wu continues to display the incredible determination in the face of adversity despite being a weak hunter at first. He absolutely refuses to give up despite seemingly unsurmountable odds. This is shown when he stubbornly keeps taking low rank dungeon quests despite getting seriously injured every time. Being an E rank hunter, uh, San Jin Wu was called by horrible nicknames such as the weakest hunter in the world. With the overwhelming sense of determination of Jin Wu, he persistently uh, accepts low rank quests uh, whenever available just to get scraps to sell for money in order to fund his mother's medical research in our uh, in order to fund his mother's uh, medical costs in our opinion we believe that not everyone in the world possesses uh, determination as strong as Jin Wu normally the average person would put down the towel or give up uh, when faced with repetitive obstacles but not San Jin Wu the fact that Sanjin Wu was able to persist over and over again is commendable and we believe that other people should take example of this behaviour. Uh, that's all for me. I will pass to my friend, um, Najmi. In this reflective writing, one of the characterization that we choose from the book Solo Leveling is selfness from the main character, Sung Jing Wu. Although Sung Jing Wu wasn't a selfness person in the first place, uh, at the beginning of the story, but as the story goes, he began to develop their attitude, uh, especially after the double dungeon incident. Uh, uh, we can see this uh, because 
uh, when he was saved by this uh, entity named system the system actually trained him to be more selfless so that he value his life more uh, this is because in the story we can see that Sung Jing Woo is a reckless person that always get hurt uh, whenever he enter a dungeon uh, and so uh, he always depending on people uh, in order to survive in the dungeon I find this is interesting this is because the selflessness attitude actually what brings Sung Jing Woo uh, to another level that make the character looks more independent and I believe that's what makes the story more interesting. Another thing is, uh, this attitude actually makes Sung Jing Woo stronger than before. Uh, this is because when he has more uh, selfness attitude in himself, he gain more self awareness about his surrounding and how to improve himself. So as we can see, uh, after the double dungeon incident. Uh, Sung Jing Woo become more and more powerful and as he grows, he learns to protect people around him instead of depending on them. This makes me think what happened if Sung Jing Woo remained ignorant after the double dungeon incident. And if he don't have the self-awareness self attitude, will he be able to become power as powerful as he is now? So to conclude, uh, to conclude my video, uh, I think uh, selfness attitude uh, is an uh, interesting uh, implication that the author made in order to make the story more lively by applying more and more unique and focus focus theme attitude in into the character in the story. Uh, we can make a more lively and good story through throughout the writings. That's all from me. The last characterization of Sung Jin Woo that we chose for this reflective writing is his patience. It clearly can be seen that the main character in this story, Sung Jin Woo, is a patient person from the beginning of the story. The reason I said he is patient is because he remained calm even when he was being insulted and called as world weakest hunter as he always get injured when hunting even in the lowest rank dungeon. I also believe that he remains calm because he didn't want to cause chaos with other people. For example, to avoid fighting people who insult him. Other than that, he remains calm because he wants to stay focused on his goal which is to earn money to pay for his mother's medical bills. On top of that, I truly believe that he remains calm because he wants to stay motivated for the hunt and didn't want his mental wellness being affected. This really got me thinking, how would I react if I was in his position? So to conclude my review, I really like this character because he really changed my perspective in life and he can be a good role model to a reader. That concludes our elaboration on why Sanjin Wu is such a great character. Thank you for watching.